of all, I'm going to read this email that Nigel sent me. It's from a book I sent you, USA. He said the, the email's called You Were Right, Babe. USA, let's go back to the question of when and how the USA was established. During the War of Independence of North America in 1775 to 1798, an independent state, the USA was formed, and now we realise that it was surprisingly coincides with the end of the war with whatever that is, Puga Chef in Russia was crushed in 1775. Everything else falls into place. The War of Independence in North America was the struggle between the weakening Russian horde. When the Romanovs attacked the horde from the west and from the east in America, it was attacked by the Americans fighting for independence. Today, we are told that the Americans purportedly fought for their independence from Britain. In fact, it was a battle for the parasailing parasailing of the vast American land of Moscow tyranny, left without any central administration. But I see that the Queen is head of everything. But Russia and, Ch and China aren't in it, but they were in the original. So it was obviously breaking away from them. So it was England and America breaking away from the Russians. Must be. In order not to miss the curve up, American troops were eager to get to the West and Northwest. George Washington became the first president of the USA in 1776. It appears that he became the first new ruler in the American lands of the Russian, from the Russian horde, I should think that is. The facts of the war with the Mongol horde, I hope I said that right, said it right, were wiped clean from the pages of the textbooks on the American history as was the fact of the existence of Moscow Tartaria on the whole. The war between the USA and the remains of the Horde continued up until the end of the second half of the 19th century. Alaska was remained Russian for partially, a particularly long time, was brought from the Romanovs by the Americans in 1867. Thus, the USA was established 1776 from the American splinter of the Mongol Empire. So many empires, we've got the Ottoman Empire, Hussans, we've got um, the Mongol, the Tartarian. It's just quite incredible, isn't it? The amount of dynasty that was there and you can't put it all together, which was what my point was on, you know, I left it hopefully for other people to see on the uniforms. There was an independence uniform on there. America were fighting independence at the same time. It was, yeah, but I don't think it was from us. It's obviously from Tartaria. But anyway, thanks very much for that bit. I do believe in Tartaria, I just don't like seeing all the videos all mushed up to give us a pretend it didn't exist but they happen and that's what we've believed in and it is hard to get it out of your brain. But I want to do Hitler, okay, this was a person saying on the right hand side that's what they could look like at a later date once they'd done their cover up. Um, let's change him as a person. But I decided to put Bin Crosby on the top because I wanted to see whether Bin Crosby you know, my own version, to see whether it actually was the same. So, we pick a picture in a moment. Looking at all the pictures of Hitler. Here we go. And then I'm going to put a picture of Bin at the top. Don't know if I lined him up very well, to be honest. This one was... Uh, He looked a bit more like that one, doesn't he? I think he looks more like that one. So I've lined up one of the eyes okay. One of his eyes completely matches into the other one. But you can never quite get the same stance, but uh, the nose even looks the same, to be honest, just because he's got his nose down there. This one, though, reminded me of the Tin Man, look. The Tin Man. And there was a part of it, he looks like, is it Laurence Olivier? Is that his name? You'll see. Well, that's what I saw last night. Anyway, beside, the head's a little bit smaller. And I was never going to match it up. But once, you know, completely, because they don't quite look, um, not quite looking the same way and stuff, but I don't know, I'll put him in. Look at that, he matches. He does match. That's 
absolutely crazy. Definitely got the same noses. I know it might not, in the first world picture you might have thought differently, but he's definitely got the same nose. Look at that. It's disgusting, isn't it? We won't even know if he's real or not. It's just part of our history, isn't it? So I thought that one was very interesting. Yeah. Catch the traitors. We should all be done for being traitors. My dad is so into this person, so into him. Has him everywhere, watches him every night, loves him. He's his hero. After all, he may not even be real. Anyway, on to the next one was Robert Duval and him. Rudy Giuliani. Like, wow. I never would have put them as together, but once you put the picture over the top, I like they are. Yeah. The pictures on the top. Quite a long time to do all this. It takes hours to put it all together and um, so forth. But if you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. That's the way I have to leave it. Yeah, I think that's the same person. When you put that picture over the top, I don't know, they do look quite... Don't forget, they're going to do things to them, otherwise we'd have recognised... Oh, look, there's Robert Duval playing that person, you know? We'd have already seen it, so they're quite good at covering up, but once you see it... You can't pretend that you didn't see it because you did. This one is, um, hang on a sec. This is Pope Francis and Jonathan Price. And again, quite a likeness like, oh my God. I never would have put him in there. I mean, I wouldn't have, you know, and, and, and then obviously Nigel's been saying, look at this person. They do look very very alike very 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 alike oh I just it repulses me that we've been lied to so much anyway none of these are real these are all little cartoons that they make for us but um, anyway hopefully everybody can now uh, see that, that how alike they are so so alike like oh my god they all need to go to prison the whole lot of them doing this to us treason the whole lot thought actors are supposed to be actors they're not they're obviously something else and don't they love doing this to us we've been doing it for so long that we didn't notice and yeah he did play him in, in a film as the pope uh, yeah no wonder I think that they are the same person. It's not quite lined up because he's looking kind of differently, but to me, it just looks like the same person. The same person. Oh, I just... I wish it wasn't true. I wish that the real people were the real people, but I suppose it cuts the population another message this message come through when I'm recording anyway it is amazing that they're the same people just another acting part for them or they get put in who how do we know stand there we're filming for five minutes and then we're using that footage to make to you you sold your soul now haven't you this one it is true Sonny Bono and Sylvester Stallone look, look like the same person as well like
quite seriously the same person. A bit shocked really. I never would have put them as the same people, it's because I've seen it on a different video so I thought right, well I'll go and check things out myself to see whether they are the same person, they do look quite alike. Seriously alike. There's a look in their eyes. If you didn't see it before, you can see it now. Same noses. Same eyes. Look at that. And they fit together nicely, don't they? You can see. Oh my god. Anyway. Uh, Cher is supposed to be Sion Dion, whatever her name is, that French singer. Celine Dion. Yeah. Look at that. Sold their souls. A whole lot just need to be arrested, and they're all working for the same person. to see that it's the same person. How many look at Sylvester Stallone like your little warrior hero? Well, he's not. He's no hero. He's a liar. I mean, look at this. This is Sonny when he's younger. And you can see it's Sylvester Stallone. The picture's not quite the right size. Is it, the, the, the older Stallone's a little bit smaller, but you can see, can't you? Well, God have mercy on their souls to do this to the people. I could never, they've got the same noses, those two. I could never, and the same lips when you look at it. I could never ever go and watch these people in the cinema ever again. To me, the cinema's out now. It's just a bunch of them doing their jobs for us. They should be utterly ashamed of themselves. Personally, that's me. Oh, there's another, another message. Oh, there's got to be messages coming through every few minutes on my computer. Look at that. You can see it's the same person, can't you? You can't have, they've got the same mouths when you look at it. You can't have the same person looking exactly the same as someone else. You can see it's him, can't you? Don't forget, it's probably about 30, 40 years between Sylvester Stallone and Sonny Bono. But anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. I do believe in Tartaria, by the way. I actually love that part of history, but what I don't like, another message, what I don't like is going there I'm watching all this footage and none of the footage is real, you know, and I believe something else happened to us. I believe we, the Americans were fighting them and we were fighting them and we stuck in with America because of all the place we rule. So we must have been pushing Russia and China away. But anyway, thanks for watching. Will we ever know our history? Even though they've lied to us, that's what I think's happened. And um, there you go. Look at that. You can see it's the same person. It's disgusting. Anyway, see you soon, everybody.